Hi guys, I thought we would, it's kind of late here at night, but I wanted to open up one of my jewelry jars. This is going to be a, just a five pound jar. Um, it's good good that you look at these jars well before you buy them, because they can be duds. And I have gotten plenty of duds in my time. And you see the price. And I don't know why I bought this jar here, so I hope it surprises me and has something good in it. It's got a lot of um, Mardi Gras beads. I think this right here was the reason I bought it. That close, close in a, it's a big pendant, I believe. But other than that, there wasn't a whole lot in there. Maybe this um, little heart necklace, hopefully that's uh, sterling silver, but you never can tell. There's not a whole lot otherwise, like you see in some of the big jars that everybody else gets. Um, they seem to be a lot better than the jars that I get here in South Carolina. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this. I haven't even taken the ta tape off. I just weighed it, though it was five pounds. Oops, and I need to get something real quick. I had to go get my, um, my tools, my loop, and my magnet. And let me use my scissors. I'm trying to do this with the hammer in front of me, and I don't want to knock it over, so on my tablet. Almost there. I hope I get something good out of this jar tonight. So here we go. I still have my Christmas, um, or my winter tablecloth on this table. Okay, the first thing we're going to pull out is Taurus. Sign for, it's in April, I know that much, because my brother is a Taurus. And... I like to put my bracelets on and then we have this is not a bangle it's an earring you know I'm gonna pause this and go get a background to hide off some of this busy stuff okay we have this little tassel that's come off a necklace. We have this cute little, I believe it's a necklace. No, it's a bracelet with a great big old huge extender on it. Hello kitty. 1976-2014 Sanrio Company LTD and look at the little frog isn't that cute adorable have a little stretchy shell bracelet a lot of shells in these jars Have a spring ring clasp, blue beaded. You've got large beads, large beads and smaller beads. We have a oh my, my friend. 
Anne Shirley Temple. That's an oldie goldie. Wow. I bet some of you out there don't, don't even know who Shirley Temple is. Or was. Here's a nice little wooden beaded bracelet. It's got that kind of clasp on it, which is a box clasp. It's very magnetic. But it goes like this. I'm going to have to turn this around a little bit because I'm going to knock it over if I don't. But it goes like this. You squeeze that together and pull it out. I don't see any writing on it. And then you just stick it in and squeeze it together to lock it. It's very secure. But it is a wooden bracelet with painted wooden beads. These beads feel like they're acrylic. But these are definitely wooden. These big nuggets. Kind of a nice layering piece with this. Put those together if you wanted to. We have a little stretchy bracelet. Well, no, it's not stretchy, but it rolls on, rolls on like that. And then you just roll it off. Those feel pretty good. Here's another copper colored bracelet. It's a uh, larger length and it's got an extra large clasp, lobster clasp. You can't really tell it through this, but it is very much copper color. I don't know that it is copper, it's probably magnetic. We will test it, yes. The next one is a length ne necklace. It's called it's got Pier One on it. Well, let's see if I can show it. Pier one. It's pretty. Looks tangled. Or is it? Just give me a minute. I believe. That I can't find a clasp. Oh, there it is. Duh. Right by the Pier 1. Geez, I need to go to bed. I can't think my brain shut down. Doesn't have a finish on the extender. I kind of like them to have a little bead or something. But that's pretty. The color of this is beautiful. Up. There we go. It's a long necklace. And the pinks and the greens, a little lavender and white tiny beads in between. It's a real pretty necklace. Nice Easter colors. The next item I have is one of these um, 
paper beaded and the yellow, pretty yellow color. You got your ivory and your um, gold colored beads. Not gold colored, but an citrine color. So that's what I'm trying to think of. Citrine colored. Very pretty little yellow necklace. It's long, so it can be doubled. Very nice, very pretty, very springy, very light. Don't want a heavy neck in the hot summertime. Heavy necklace on your neck on the hot summertime. Here's a pretty little cross bracelet. It's one of those that pulls. On a red cord. Stretchy bracelet. It's missing a stone. Here's an earring. Silver hoop. Let's see. It's not magnetic, so I will test it. The silver. Put my little test bend over there. Here's another little earring. It's not as well made. You can see where the stone connects. Let's see if it's magnet. Yeah. Well, here's my little jar. My little jar for earrings. Right here. You right there. Twelve minutes. What have I shown? Not much. Looks like crystal, or is it broken? I'm not real sure. It's a post earring, but I don't know if that's a broken earring or what. It's kind of strange. Ooh, look at here. Perfect for Halloween. <laughs> for people who stay up too late at night. It could get scary. And we have another little earring. It's very pretty. I like that. Very Victorian, romantic type earring. This is a toggle closed um, multi-metal necklace, different size chain links. You have the gold and the gunmetal. out of the way. It's a very interesting necklace. Very cool. Okay. The next one we have, this is what so far is not too bad. These are some pretty glass beads. Unfortunately the uh, lobster claw class is broke. It has an extender on it, no finish on the extender. So that needs a little work. Here's another little leather corded bracelet. And I guess you tie this one. I'm not real thrilled about it. Here's a pretty little glass pendant. It's very pretty. I like the colors. Here's a little very springtime.
earring with the French hook. Here's some very dirty, <laughs> dirty white beads. It's probably old, one cleaned. I would have to clean it. This side looks okay, but this side has really got makeup or lipstick or something on it. Those need cleaning very much. So, well, here's that what I bought the jar for, and it's an ornament. Isn't that beautiful? But I think you could take that off and make it a pendant too if you wanted to. It's beautiful. Love it. I don't know if I'd make my money back on it, but... Celebrate life. There. Best protection is early detection. I care for a woman everywhere. Isn't that pretty? Definitely need a cure. I know a young girl right now, she's got the most beautiful children and she's, her cancer is terminal. She's way too young to be going through that. She's got the most beautiful children. They look like little cherubs running around with their blonde hair and blue eyes. Here's a hoop earring. Breaks my heart to think about it. It's not magnetic, so I'll test it. There's another hoop earring. It's not magnetic, I'll test it too. Here's a little palm tree bracelet, which is very uh, popular here in South Carolina. It's on our state flag. And we're by the beach, so there's that. Well, we can't do without our shell necklaces. They just keep popping up in the bag here. So, I need to make a pot, a plant holder, pot holder, plant pot holder. Maybe we used to have those home, real pretty ones. I think I've got enough beads now to make one. See, we have a little broken piece here. Put it in my little finding group. We have a um, worked out earring here. That's tangled up on this necklace. I'm not going to untangle it here, but here's the little French hook earring that needs help. And here's the necklace that it's um, tangled up with. It's a brassy color, dark antique chain with an extender with a little bead for the finish. I like that. It's got a little tag. Let's see, looks like an Avon tag, but it could be something else. It's free AD or SAE. Let's get out the loop. Let's loop it up.
It's S A O. I don't know what that is, but it's angled up, and I'll have to untangle it later, or we'll be here all night playing with the tangles. Here's a very um, glass beaded necklace. It's pretty colors. It's old, it's only got a little hook here. And it's stretched out. But the, the beads are really nice on this. They're glass. Aren't they pretty? Glass and crystal, these, these are coal beads. So it's an old necklace. It's seen its better days, but the beads are still good. Here's a necklace with a fold over clasp. It's got a mark on it. I can't read it. Let's see if we can turn it around. I still can't read that, can y'all? Okay, I have to look at it with my loop. It's Napier and with a patent number. So this is a Napier necklace. It's in very great shape. Pretty white beads for the summer. That white and gold is stunning. We have a very, um, not sure what we have here. Oh, well, we have an earring here with a crystal bead that's cold and blue. And I don't know if it's magnetic. It's not, so I'm gonna test that. Let's see what else I got here. I'm not sure what I have here. This is another tangled something. And we got a wire that's sticking out. Oh, it must be a broken chain. Here's the chain with the lobster claw in. Now let's see if I can find the other side. Well, this is where it would hook. Nope, right here. Here we go. There's the extenders. And they have something written on them. So I'm going to look to see what that says. It's Bobble Bar. This is Bobble Bar. It's an oversized lobster claw clasp. And this is what? Not sure about the necklace. It is a bunch of twisted baubles, that's for sure. Well, it looks like those are supposed to be loose like that. But something needs to be done about that wire. We got here. I don't know. Just don't know, guys. Maybe that fixed it. We've got these that hang down on the sides. And this needs to be fixed. This needs to be finished off. Unless it was threaded through here. Yeah, I'm not sure. And so it would have gone like that. Maybe that makes more sense. 
I don't know. It needs to be fixed. It's bobble bar. And it's a bunch of bobble. It's a bobble mess. <laughs> oh boy, I know I'm getting tired now. It's a bobble bar bra. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's a pretty bracelet with love and the cross and the infinity. I love all of that. I'll get my big hand out of the way you can see. Let's see. What have we got going here? There we go. That's the way it's supposed to look. I love that blue in there that's calming. The purity of the white. It's not magnetic. Oh, but that is. Woohoo. Yeah. But these aren't. But I don't know if they're silver or not. I kind of doubt it, but I could test it. Okay, here's that bracelet, and it's the. It is a fold-over class, that heart, solid in the open hearts, and it's got Mom written on it. See, Mama's with me again tonight. Yep, I'm going to cry now. I'm putting that on. She's been telling me to hang in there. You'll get it done. Mom. Here is a pretty red and black necklace. It's not expensive. It needs cleaning. But it's nicely done. There's your finishing on the extender. This is your um, extra large lobster claw clasp. Go ahead and extend it here. I'm all thumbs tonight. And there we go. Like I said, it needs cleaning. Pretty colors, red and black. My necklace thing is falling over. It's too heavy. I have a string of Mardi Gras like pearls for the kitty jar. We have another strand of blue pearl, blue, bur, blue beads. gonna hook them together because I'm all thumbs tonight but it does work those are nice colored blue looks like we got damage on one of the beads Ooh, look at this it's so cold I like you this makes me think of the ocean it makes me think of my swimming pool in the backyard be nice to the way I get my exercise in the summer because it gets really really hot here very hot I wish I had a pool years ago look at that isn't that pretty I really like that gorgeous oh here's some more beads for the kitty bank Kitty jar is getting filled up. Of course, they don't weigh anything, so it doesn't put weight in your jar too much. We have this other necklace here. Very Indian like. 
I don't know what kind of stones these are, but they're definitely stones. So lacy, so intricate in its in the work of these. I think they're very pretty. And here's the clasp. It's just a hook. Shall we dare call it a French hook? So so much nicer than just a hook. Like we call the French wire. We call it the French hook. that. Okay, and the next one is little tiny seed beads. It starts out with a lobster claw clasp. Real tiny little clear seed beads. And it works its way down to gold and black and clear crack glass and leopard type beads. And it's just got all kind of beads on there. It must be homemade. Not bad though. It's got variety. Here's a little plastic mangle. Here's some more beads for the St. Patty's Day. Here's a hoop to match the other hoop that wasn't magnetic. Here's a little scarf necklace. I'm not going to untangle it. It's made with a little ribbon. And here's a pangle. I mean a cla clamper. If you're in construction, a woman in construction. It's pretty cool, huh? Okay, we're going to stop the tape here. We're at 32 minutes, and I'll be back.